Welcome everyone. Um, hope that you're doing well, getting ready for Purim tonight. Excited uh, to be able to share a Rashi with you today. Um, I thought uh, we would actually share a Rashi today from uh, Megillus Esther in preparation for Purim instead of uh, Tetzave, a little deviation from our normal uh, our normal routine. Um, it's both nice because it will help us prepare for the holiday and also nice because the Rashis are getting very difficult, especially in the fifth uh, and sixth Aliyah of Parshish Tetzave. Uh, so uh, moving to the Megillah, one of the critical points in the Megillah is of course the fourth chapter of the Megillah when Esther really turns into a heroine. She moves from being a passive figure to an active figure as a person who's really willing to take action for the Jewish people. And what changes her mind, what really is the fulcrum or the turning point of the story is uh, when Mordechai chastises her uh, for not taking action, causes her to really evaluate what her hesitancy is about. Uh, Don't think, Esther, that you can escape the fate of the rest of the Jews by retreating into the Beis HaMelech, into the home of Achashverosh, where you live. You can hide out there and be protected. No, your fate will be the same as everybody else's. You think you can cover over the fact that you're a Jew. You can think you can avoid the fact that this decree um, against the Jewish people is happening to you as well. You can't. You can't escape. If you realize, Esther, that if you're quiet at this time, if you're silent at this time, if you fail to act at this time, don't worry. Salvation will come to the Jewish people from somewhere else. I'm not worried about the Jewish people, says Mordechai. I'm not worried because Hashem has our back. We are in Hashem's hands. Someone always rises to take care of the Jewish people on behalf of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So if you don't do it, but you and your father's health will be lost. Your name will be lost. Your status will be lost. Your ability to effectuate the future of your family and your broader family of Jewish people will be lost. And now the punchline. And who knows if for this time you have reached the Malchus, you have reached the palace, you have reached the status as queen. It's a beautiful line, a powerful line, one of the, my favorite, everybody's favorite line, really, uh, of the Megillah. And uh, after this point, she says, Lech kenosis koyu, dim, fine, she says, gather all the Jews, let them fast, join me in fasting. We're going to take on the king. I'm going to do what's necessary. And if I'm lost, I'm lost. I'll, I'll risk it all on behalf of the Jewish people because this is the cause that is worth losing it all for. Very beautiful and very moving passage. Normally we read this punchline, as basically saying, who knows uh, if it's for this reason that the events came about for you to be chosen as queen. Maybe the whole reason why you were chosen, maybe the whole reason why you're there is to be able to save the Jewish people, to step up in their time of need. Who knows if it's, uh, who knows if for this time, this time period, this story, these events, he got you have been placed in the palace, in the position of queen. So we read Le'ez Kazos kind of loosely. Who knows if for this time, for this moment, meaning it's all worth it for this moment that you became the queen because now you could actually do something. This moment is not taken literally as this moment as opposed to the next moment or the future moment, but taken more broadly as for this time, for this experience, for this story. But I never noticed until this year, I was looking at the Rashi's here on the Megillah, uh, the Rashi actually takes a slightly different twist. It's not altogether antithetical to the way that we normally read the Pasta, but it's different. I hope you'll notice that as well. That me yodea im leis kazos, he got. Mi yodea im yachpotz bach hamelech l'shana haba shehuzman hahariga. The poor, the lottery was taken to kill the Jews a year later. And now at this point, a year earlier, Mordechai is requesting of Esther to take action. And he says to her, who knows if for this time you were chosen as queen. Rashi reads that as saying, who knows if next year at this time, when we're closer to the disaster, when we're closer to the date of the death of the Jews, Ahasuerus will be as enamored with you as he is now. 
Meaning you might not have the opportunity if you wait in, to be able to make a change that saves the Jewish people. If you don't do it now, who knows if you'll have the opportunity again? Who knows if the moment will be ripe again? Who knows if you'll find favor with Ahasuerus again? I hope you see Rashi reads Le'ez Kadosh much more narrowly. He's saying that Mordechai was literally telling her, who knows if it's for this moment that you were chosen, as opposed to the moment that's coming a month from now, a year from now, where the moment may not be advantageous to you anymore, where the moment may not be right anymore. You have to strike while the iron is hot. Carpe diem, seize that moment. Seize the moment. Now is the message, according to Rashi. Our message, according to the normal reading of the Pastel, is you were chosen for a reason. You're here for a reason. You're, you're uh, part of the, the palace because there's something you can do about it. Maybe God's whole plan in making you queen was for this event, for this time, for this moment. That's one message. Ratsi's reading of the Pastel gives us a slightly different message. Again, it's not antithetical to the other message, but a slightly different twist, which is not the twist of this is your role, this is your tafkid, but rather the lesson of seize the moment. Don't let moments pass you by because you don't know if they're going to come again. You can assume that in a year from now, everything's going to be the same as now. And the day of the death of the Jews, you're going to walk into the king and say, please don't do it, and he'll stop it. But who knows? Who knows what can happen between now and then? Seize the moment now while you have the opportunity. That's a great lesson for all of us to be able to learn, uh, to seize the moments that come our way, to not let them pass, uh, to be able to take opportunity as, as they come. Because as we've learned, certainly this year, in the course of this pandemic, one never knows what the next day is going to bring. One never knows how life is going to change, the ups and downs and the unexpected. And so... We have to uh, take the opportunities as they come, hope to be great opportunities, opportunities that we seize in order to bring redemption uh, to the world, just like Esther did so many years ago. I wish you all an easy rest of the fast and a great four in the head. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rabbi. Thank you. Tomorrow, everybody. Thank you. Take care, everyone. Be well.